We picked up just over a tenth of an inch of rain in Dayton. Our weather checker Jim Robbins in Beaver Creek are reporting four tenths of an inch there. We are starting to see the rain taper off though. Uh, still some heavier showers moving through portions of Greene County. Some snow may be, may be mixing in, but at the surface our temperatures are still just a little too warm for any of that. And then we are continuing to see some of the moderate rainfall moving across Clinton County. Areas further off to the west, it's still misty and cloudy. We are seeing some fog develop out ahead of a weak cold front that's going to really weaken as it moves into the Miami Valley. So visibility is really dropped there in Richmond, Indiana. Right now you can see just under two miles out ahead of you. Four miles through downtown Dayton, 3.6 miles through Troy, two miles through Wapakoneta and in Bell Fountain. And your hour of hour forecast, we are going to wake up to that misty start. Cloudy conditions continuing, but we'll start to see a break in the clouds heading into the afternoon. 41 degrees there at 4 p.m. Here's a breakdown on future tracks. So still some rain and mist, especially heading into Sunday morning. Overall, we will stay cloudy and likely a bit foggy through about lunchtime. And then we will start to see a few breaks in the cloud coverage heading into Sunday evening. But that's not going to last for long. Our next storm system approaching Monday morning, and we will see another round of rain moving through. A chance for some rain snow mix on Monday. Overall, I think most of it will be rainfall. In your almanac today, we had a high of 42 degrees. That's well above our normal high of 37 degrees. Our low well above normal as well. Typically, we're sitting around 23 degrees at night. Over the next 10 days, we will be dealing with those above normal temperatures, especially on Wednesday. Your high 52 degrees, but then a big drop is headed our way just in time for Christmas. Here's a look at the forecast. So we've got some mild air coming up out of the southwest. Some strong southwest winds heading into Thursday and then Thursday into Friday. Arctic blast is on the way. We are confident that Christmas Day is going to be a cold day and Christmas Eve will be a wet day. There is a chance for some snow uh, behind a cold front moving through Christmas Eve heading into Christmas Day. So some flurries possible there. 24 degrees year high on our Google Auto Auction camera. It's 39 degrees right now. We are starting to lose downtown Dayton just a bit. Visibility through Dayton. It's four miles out ahead of you. Temperatures all above freezing through Bell Fountain. It's 36, 37 in Springfield, 38 degrees there in Xenia, where we're still seeing just a little bit of rainfall. Lows tonight are going to stay above freezing, 36 in Eaton, Dayton. We will be around 36 in Xenia. We'll get down to 34 in Bell Fountain, 35 in Sydney and Salina, and also into Greenville. Highs tomorrow, 41 through Troy, Springfield, also 41 degrees in Dayton and Eaton. We'll be right around 41. So not a lot of variability in our temperatures with all of that cloud coverage on Sunday. We're are still dealing with cloudy conditions, mostly just a mist, not a lot in the way of rainfall. We do see that rain and a chance for rain snow mix on Monday. Temperatures increasing on Wednesday, strong southwest winds also. So expect a windy Wednesday before we see temperatures falling during the day on Christmas Eve and a cold, cold Christmas. 24 degrees, you're high there.